Today I wanted to go into something that I've been wanting to speak about for a long time and it's a lie that is um, in the interior design industry that uh, we're, we're seeing from trusted institutions that uh, we believe are telling us the truth um, but aren't. So what is it? It is this lie about interior architecture. So <laughs> interior architecture is a degree that has manifested recently um, in the last couple of years and has been changed from interior design to interior architecture. And this is where the biggest lie of the industry starts to come about because interior design is not architecture. They're two very separate professions. And this is now starting to cause a very big problem because people go into an interior architecture degree believing that they are now going to be qualified interior architects, which um, as we'll see as I continue this conversation that um, this is actually really, really dangerous. Um, so what is interior architecture, if we can use that title, because um, it actually isn't a, a profession. Interior architecture doesn't exist. It is something that's new, something that universities that you thought you could trust <laughs> um, have created uh, because it sounds better than interior design. And an interior architecture degree will not make you an interior architect. An interior uh, architecture degree will not give you any qualification at all, um, except for in some areas of um, usual, well, typically Canada, uh, but actually the degree itself doesn't give you the qualification um, because you still have to sit exams. And I think this is where the confusion and uh, danger of this starts to come about because in order to become an architect, you need to do a Masters of Architecture, and this is pretty similar around the world, um, sit an exam, and then in order to be able to call yourself an architect, which because of the title and possibly the job role is protected around the world, um, or in your location, you need to be registered with the Architects Registration Board in order to call yourself an architect. That's an interior architect, an architect, um, and any other type of architect except for a software architect for some reason. Um, to call yourself an interior designer in most places doesn't require any education um, and it doesn't usually require any qualification. And this is now um, starting to, and well, we'll see why there are people pushing um, this this idea of interior architect or interior architecture, which um, I mean, as a um, if you if you look at interior design in uh, industry, so if you're working in a large interior design firm or interior or an architecture firm or multi multi um, skilled firm, so full of engineers, architects, landscape designers, interior designers. Um, interior People who have interior architecture degrees or interior design degrees are likely to get positions in these kinds of places because they're looking for really highly skilled, highly talented, highly and the best of the best that they can get from the industry for doing interior design. But uh, they are still interior designers. They're not architects, if that makes sense. And uh, which is totally okay uh, within the kind of compounds of a large office where, um, uh, uh, you know, Hassel is em employing these people. They've got hundreds and hundreds of designers worldwide. That's, you know, that is their prerogative, their industry leaders. That is um, how they, uh, well, that they are leaders in the industry. However, the vast majority of employed interior designers um, are working for themselves. And uh, the, this is where this problem starts to come about because there are people who truly believe that because they have an interior architecture degree that they can call themselves interior architects. And this is where the danger really, really starts to come about because the main reason behind every single institution who tries to protect the title of interior designer, like ACID, a, a, the American Society of Interior Designers, their sole argument for uh, protecting the title is to help um, protect the general public from, um, from danger of hiring a rogue interior designer. 
But there is nothing more dangerous than an interior designer who thinks they're an architect when they're not. <laughs> and there is nothing more dangerous than an interior designer who says they're more like an architect than a decorator. And search all over the internet, you'll see this everywhere. And it's really scary because interior designers who are now um, unnecessarily getting educations that they don't need to have. Um, some, you know, if you're straight out of school, it makes sense. So this is another argument I've had in um, um, blog posts that you can read on my website. Um, but interior design does not require a four year degree. It does in two locations around the world. Um, but everybody knows that there is no danger um, in interior design because everybody can do it in their own home. But it's just a lie that as soon as you require, as soon as you have to do or you want to do that job for somebody else, you need a four year degree. <laughs> I mean, we've proven this millions of times. Shay McGee, um, Kelly Hoppen, um, there's so many um, examples around the world of designers who are not rogue designers, they're just self taught designers who. Uh, are just doing what they've always done and are doing it well. They didn't need a four year degree to call themselves an interior designer and they've obviously proven it and are ruffling some feathers as well because um, they're doing it even better than interior designers who have gone through four years of degrees of studies. And I'm not saying that education is a, a bad thing. In fact, obviously I'm an educator myself. However, um, requiring a four year degree to become an interior designer is, is firstly a lie. Um, it, it doesn't, it, it, nobody needs four years of university um, to qualify as an interior designer. That like, we all know that. Um, however, you do need seven years and an examination to call yourself an architect. So you don't want to be doing an interior architecture degree, which is four or five years, um, and then believing that you're a more highly skilled person than you are, and, um, but, are an interior designer because the course content is the same, same content. It's not that they've changed the course to become an architecture course. It's, it's the same course that is now called interior architecture. So there is no, um, it's, it's interior design that is now being given a different name. And this is where the lies are coming out and very, very dangerous for the industry because institutions like ACID should have been nipping this in the bud really, really early on. Universities are just creating this because it sounds better. It's better marketing. It it just sounds so much. Oh, it's easier to sell, isn't it? It's like everybody wants to be able to call themselves an architect. So, and the danger comes where these people actually believe that they are architects. They're interior architects, which it, it doesn't exist. So um, you're not an interior architect unless you are a registered architect in your state with the Architects Registration Board. And then you niche down or you specialize in interior design. It's not the other way. You don't do a little bit of architecture by having an interior architecture or an interior design degree. You are either the bigger qualified architect and then you can niche down into something like one section of the construction industry, which is interior design, which could be project management. We could be sustainable architecture, could be anything, but you're still an architect first and then an interior architect not the other way around. You don't do an interior design degree or an interior design arch architecture degree and then believe that you're a qualified architect. And this is where the danger comes because, um, I, and I raised this earlier, that there are so many people writing um, things, really hurtful things, uh, under people who are self-taught interior designers or even uh, in some areas we call them decorators, and suggesting that they are unqualified and that they're dangerous because um, they don't have these four year degrees or five year degrees, which we all know are unnecessary, um, proven um, by uh, like now 30, 40 years of interior designers coming through the industry who are self-taught or um, have been just uh, working at home using their own skills and then um, uh, using those skills as um, and turning that into a profession. I do believe that um, uh, a four-year degree in interior design or architecture is 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 
totally acceptable to you if that is what you want to do. It, education is fantastic. The more education you can get um, is beneficial and I totally agree with that. However, I don't agree that that is the requirement for the skill of interior design. It's an additional thing that you can have if you want it and if that's available to you it's not available to everybody and this is where these institutions are starting to create this division in the industry and even more separation between the haves and the have not and people who can afford four-year degrees to become uh, a very like in, in a niche industry that you know we already know there's one specific type of interior designer that you see um, so why is it like that? It's because this nonsense is being spread by universities, by um, organisations who are protecting the title of interior designer. And I mean, if they really believed, if they really truly thought that um, what they were doing was um, making the quality of the industry better, why is it that we still don't have um, uh, a variety of uh, interior designers? Um, and why do we not have lots of different different ethnicities of interior designers. Why is it one type of interior designer that you're constantly seeing on repeat? It's because these are privileged people who are typically having one way into the industry and then we're trying to protect it by keeping everyone else down. And they will argue until they're blue in the teeth that, um, or blue in the face, whatever the saying is, that um, that is not what they're doing, but it is because we can see it happening. And now with this, uh, magical interior architecture um, degree that actually means nothing. Um, it's just an interior design degree, which you can, like anyone should be able to do if they choose to. But um, wrongly believing that you're an architect, if you do an interior design degree or an interior architecture degree, is where this now starts to become dangerous for the average person who these people are trying to protect. Why is that dangerous? Because imagine somebody who really believes that they are highly skilled and highly qualified, but they don't know what they don't know. They're not architects. So they are believing and actually saying this under people's posts on um, YouTube, on Instagram, really like they, they believe that they are um, more like, quote, literally, we're more like architects rather than decorators. I mean, this is dangerous stuff. It's really, really scary because uh, somebody who might be hiring an architect or an interior designer or thinking about who I need to hire is going to look at that and think, oh, I don't need to hire an architect. I just need to hire an interior designer. No, that's so dangerous. <laughs> this is exactly what I would have expected that ACID and uh, um, uh, institutions are trying to protect against. And yet they're quiet. They're silent about this. Why haven't they raised this as a problem? Don't they, don't they have direct contact with the institutions like universities who are creating these courses, making this magical nonsense up to just sell more courses. It's, it's not only dangerous for the industry, it's dangerous for interior designers because unskilled um, or poorly skilled or people who believe that they're more skilled than they are will make big mistakes. And the construction industry is not only dangerous, but it is it's ruthless because um, one project and you could be sued. <laughs> like there are a lot of things that can go wrong on a construction project. Um, so if you're believing that you're an architect and you're, you're trained in interior architecture, interior design, I mean, at least if you kept it different, like different titles, it would be clearer for the industry about what, uh, who does what. But this is just blurring the boundary and that blurring that where this overlap happens, which does happen, like there is an overlap between architecture and interior design. As soon as you overlap that with titles, this is where the danger starts because the general community who you're trying to protect are the ones who are going to get hurt. So um, it's really, from my perspective, this is something I'm very passionate about because obviously integration of um, more people being able to access the interior design industry has been my mission from the start. I do believe that um, this will have to go, someone will have to make a decision on this. I would have expected institutions around the world, architects registration boards, why aren't you doing anything about this? Um, and why is nobody uh, worried 
about this <laughs> because um I mean it's it's it was like it's like this silent thing that's happening and all of a sudden you're going to have these um these people who believe that they are something that they're not and the industry is allowing it so you're being lied to unfortunately if you have an interior architecture degree it doesn't mean that you're an interior architect it means that you're an interior designer and this is where the danger is um, in, uh, in, in trusting these institutions that they're actually doing something good for you because they're not they're, they're making the industry a little bit scarier um, for and, and more dangerous which is again the one thing that um, uh, regulation in the industry is trying to protect against so continue the conversation below let me know what you think about this because um, maybe you've had uh, or maybe you've been through an interior architecture degree and maybe you weren't able to get a job uh, maybe you've been through an interior design degree and then wondered why you didn't do an interior architecture degree or why you couldn't call yourself an architect maybe you're an interior decorator thinking um, well I thought I was doing interior design or interior designer thinking you're, you can't call yourself an interior designer you had to be an, a decorator I mean it's all interior design except architecture is not interior design these are two separate professions this is why interior architecture is a very scary term because it starts to mold things together so tell us your story um, has this inhibited you from um, uh, moving progressing in the industry has this stopped you as a career changer trying to get into the industry because you thought that all of a sudden all of these legalities um, uh, became barriers to becoming an interior designer because you thought oh well actually I didn't want to be an architect I just wanted to be an interior designer maybe that means I'm only a decorator <laughs> it's, um, it's confusing and it's it's confusing because they want it to be confusing so dangerously so so you're being taken advantage of you're being lied to and um, I'd be interested to get your feedback so share that with me below I'm Jo Krovac and I'm an architectural and interior designer and I am the founder of the interior designers business school here in London where we help you to change careers into interior design if you want to find out more about our mentorship program have a look at the link below